Okay, now we're going to start covering night combat and how that's going to change things up. You'll uh, have some scenarios that will be listed down and it'll say night rules are going to apply. And the big thing that night is going to affect is the spotting mechanic when it comes to uh, lock and loot tactical and who can see who. The short version and way to understand it is, let's say, for example, our German squad here, anything within two hexes of them is going to be treated like you normally would. So you count out two hexes in any direction. So our Sherman tank over here, they could take and see and spot and uh, shoot at it as normal. But these American squads over here in the building, they wouldn't be able to because they're farther than two hexes away. The big thing with night combat is that you cannot fire at units that are farther than two hexes away unless they are marked with their own fired marker and then you're going to have a negative modifier also applied to it. Now adjacency rules they're going to be the same if you're adjacent to your uh, enemy you're still going to get the normal modifier to that. So I've got some examples laid out here to kind of show you guys how this is going to work. Our Sherman tank here could fire at the German leader and the squads as normal because he's within two hexes of them. But again, our American leader and the squad located in the building, they're three hexes away. So currently they could not see or attack the German squads here, even though they're in the open because it's a night scenario, they can't see them that far out. But let's say that our German squads here take and fire onto the uh, Sherman tank, and now they're marked with a fired marker. In this case, the American squads in the building could fire on them, but they're gonna suffer a negative three modifier to their uh, firepower on top of any other modifiers they're going to apply. So with their leadership modifier and inherent firepower, they would have a total of three, and then you would be subtracting three from that when they were conducting their attack against the German squads. When it comes to ordnance weapons, they're going to be following the same type of rules. Uh, within two hexes, you're going to be operating as normal, but farther than that, you're going to need the opponent to have a fired marker to fire on them, and you're also going to get a plus three to your to hit roll. So where they're located currently, the Sherman tank could fire its ordnance weapon onto the German squads and they wouldn't suffer the modifier. But if they were one hex farther away, they could still fire since the German squads have the fired marker, but they would uh, the Sherman tank would get a plus three to its to hit roll with its ordnance weapon. Or if it used its machine guns, it would be getting a negative three modifier to its firepower. When it comes to melee combat, like we have going on down here, that's going to be conducted as normal. There's not going to be any change for night combat. 